Hello. Uh, so originally the plan was to change my makeup, what's in my makeup bag, every two weeks. So bi-monthly or bi-weekly, however you want to say it. But I've realized that I do not have that kind of dedication. Because I do have a pan that palette and I do have a project pan. So there are already items that I'm stuck using continuously until I meet my goal or I finish it or whatever. But I also want other items that I can change frequently and use as much as I want them to. So what I've been thinking, because I realized very quickly that I wanted to use other things as well, is that I do this every week. So for now, it is a uh, weekly change of what's in my makeup bag. So there will be products that I'm going to be keeping because they're my project pans. But I will be changing out the other products. Now, I have already changed the products, so unfortunately I can't show you what I had in here last time unless you watched the previous video of the last makeup bag I did. But these are all the items. I'm gonna show you what it is and whatnot. So let's just jump right into it. Again, this is my makeup bag. I like it. I have no idea where it's from. I just got it when I had the opportunity and I don't remember. It's been a few years. Now immediately in the last video, I told you guys that I was washing my brushes. And I did, I did absolutely wash my brushes. But I also changed some, changed some of them out. So this is the foundation brush, powder brush, blush brush, and these are the eyeshadow brushes. This is a dual end elf one that I got from a palette I used to have from them. We have the blending brush, a shadow brush, another shadow brush, but I like to use it for blending, a crease brush, this is what I use for my eyebrows. And this is another crease brush. I know I have another one, hold on. This is another brush. This is from Joa. I have found that I absolutely adore this brush. I want to get more of these because I absolutely love it. It's just perfect for me. This is from Joa, it is the eyeshadow brush. The rest of them are from, this is from Chic. Real Techniques, Essence, and Wet n Wild, and Elf. But yes, that is, those are the brushes in case you guys were curious about what, what was in there. Now, moving on. We have, this is in my project pan, the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk uh, Tinted Foundation. Tinted, whatever, I don't know. It's, it, it's very light coverage. Then we have the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This is the, I, this is, I was going to say eyelash curler, but it's not an eyelash curler. Uh, this is the mascara that I have out right now. I'm going to use it until it runs out. It's not in my project pan, but I, I only like opening one at a time. Now, for palettes, this is in my pan that palette. This is the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette. Wait, in case you guys want to get a better look at it, hold on. And this is what it looks like. This is a little bit of a sneak peek if you guys are curious about what is going. As you can see, there is a dent in a dip, not a dent, a dip in some of the shades as I'm using it. This is in my rotation because it is fall and I wanted to use some of these colors. It is the Maybelline City Mini palette in High Rise Sunset. This is what it looks like at a better eye for you guys. And this is the Koki, oh God, hold on. Ooh, that is, that is a mess. This is the Koki Bear It All palette. This is what it looks like. I love this palette, I wanna use it more. Then we have the Essence All About Matte Compact Fixing Powder. I finished my e.l.f. powder, so I'm using this now. The Maybelline Coral Blush. Hold on, it's very light, but it does the job. I don't think you can really see it much. Not like that anyway. Right there. It's a slight blush. 
I like it because it goes great with more bold makeup because since this is lighter, it, it gives it more of a softer look without really taking away from the rest of the look. Now, on for everything else. Let me just dump this all out here. Hold on. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm a little bit of a mess. Here is this. Da, 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 ta, ta, ta. We have this. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Berry Recognize. We have the, es the Essence Lipstick in Charming. This is in my Project Pan. The Koki Brow Pomade Gel. That is not in a project pan, but I like using it. This is the Koki Liquid Lipstick in Nightfall. I used this for Halloween. It was a very nice dark lip for me. Then we have the Koki Liquid Lipstick in Monarch. It's a really pretty red. I haven't used this yet. I mean, I've used it before, but I just mean I haven't used it yet in this rotation. Then we have the Maybelline Lipstick in Almond Rose. I'm currently wearing this. If you are curious, this is what it looks like. It's a really nice bright pink. It looks more mauve in there, but it's actually very like pinky coral kind of shade. I love it. It's very springtime, but I don't mind. Then we have the Essence Lipstick in Brave. This is what it looks like. It's a really pretty brown. I know you're getting very nice close-up of my hand. I apologize. But it is what it is. This is the scrunchie I'm wearing today on my hand. I have a different on my in my hair. But I like having a little decorative scrunchie in my arm. Then we have the Koki lipstick in Vamp. I've already worn this. It's a really beautiful color. I love it. Then we have the Wet n Wild Put of Focus Concealer. This is in my project pan. I am trying to finish that. Then we have the e.l.f. eyeliner pen. I'm wearing this right now. It is not in a project. I'm just using it and I like it very much. It does the job and it's easy to use. The Pro Eyeshadow from e.l.f. is an eyeshadow primer. This usually you see pushed down. That's mostly just empty air. But I've used quite a bit of this and it takes forever to use up. I've had this for such a long time. Now, lip liners. This is Underground from Rimmel London. Underground, it's a really pretty purple. Hold on. There we go. I uh, get that a little bit darker. Eh, it's not a, I'm, I'm not pressing on it too hard. But yes, that's what it looks like. It's more of a more vibrant purple. This is in, gosh, I can't read, Stay Woke. This is in Stay Woke from Essence. This one is, hold on, let me read, Obsession from Rimmel London. Hold on, let me swatch it. There's that. This is the Essence Secret Life lip liner. It's a nice, like, medium red. I don't know, you can't really see it all that well. Sorry. I don't have my light on me. I left it upstairs and I don't want to get it. This is the Keep Receipts lip liner from Essence. Let me roll this up a little bit. It's a roll up. It's more of a mauve. Then we have this. This is in pink candy. And last but not least, we have the Essence True Me lip liner. This is in my project band. That is a horrible swatch. Don't mind the outside noise. But my sharpener, cotton ball. This is everything that's in the bag. This is everything. Now, I have to organize all of it and put it back in there. 
But that is everything for this new rotation. Thank you for watching and welcome to this mess and chaos. Alright, bye guys.